you can hear me yeah 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 is that okay now Hello. Hello. Okay, thank you. Let's start. Then start it. Focus. Hello, friends. Welcome to the 24th webinar from FISCON eDesk every today afternoon. I'm very glad to know that there are so many professionals connected. I would like to thank FISCON eDiscovery for giving me this opportunity to connect with you all. This webinar is expected to last for about 50 minutes, followed by 10 minutes of question and answers. So please defer your questions so that we will complete the presentation. In the presentation, I'll be explaining about the other procedures. Then we will uh, discuss about the questions that we'll be asking. Now going to our presentation on construction safety during COVID-19. Gentlemen, as such, the construction industry is a very hazardous and dangerous industry. And I have been in this construction industry as my profile speaks for the last 20 years as a head HS. And for the last three months, the whole world is now engulfed with a hazard called COVID-19. Why I call it a hazard? Because the risk on this, I'm not able to, we are not able to judge or measure it. This pandemic has really created havoc in the whole world. And today we are all locked to our homes. Whether he's a senior professional, whether he's a manager, whether he's a worker or a businessman, everyone, rather I would say one thing, that all humans are locked inside their houses. In this, recently, our government has given some green signals on the construction loans. As I belong to construction, and we are facing this COVID-19 along with our construction hazards. So we'll be discussing the construction hazards as well as the uh, hazards of the COVID-19. I would like to start with the Vedic hymn. Om Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha Sarve Santu Niramaya Sarve Bhadrani Pasyantu Ma Kaschid Dukkha Bhagavad Om Shanti 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 The English translation of this curse goes like this. May all become happy May all be free from illness. May all see what is auspicious. May no one suffer from pain. Home, peace, peace, and peace. The question and answers, the problem and solution are in this. The happiness is free from illness. And also the happiness is free from suffering from pain. We'll be discussing 
our construction in the rural sector, tier two, tier three cities, and also some uh, hazards that we are even facing in tier one cities or the metro cities also. And as I told you during my start, the questions will defer it to last once the presentation is over. In the chat box, you can give the questions so that once this presentation is completed, then we will take up the questions. As a partial relief to real estate and government allows construction resumption, providing relief to real estate sector, the government has allowed, and this non COVID hotspots. That's what exactly we call it, how they affect this. As far as my presentation is concerned, the index, it has been indexed like this. We'll talk about stakeholders, processes in construction, hazards and risks, mitigations, personal protective equipment, welfare facilities, use of technology, and we will discuss some conclusions. As we go, we see some construction activities that are seen. As we say that China was the first to open construction after the COVID pandemic across the globe. They said they are free. The very city which has originated, the construction is started and 74% of the construction is started in all the sectors. As for the stakeholders are concerned, let us see what are the, who are the stakeholders in a normal situation. In normal situation, the stakeholders are owners or the builders or the individuals who want to have a construction done. Then comes agencies who are the material supply companies. And the contractors, the main people, those who deploy the workmen at the site, at the site for the work and government which is the controlling authority for the legal and statutory requirements to be followed during the construction in a normal situation these are the things that we handle but under covid who are the other stakeholders that are coming here even though government is the stakeholder but here our neighbors are the first stakeholders for this construction. If a construction is happening, who are the neighbors? Who are all the people surrounding this construction? They are the first stakeholders. The second comes the health officials who take care of this, controlling the health, whether what is the uh, number of cases or number of health measures that are being taken, the testing and other things. The third one is the sanitation workers who tirelessly working day and night to keep the streets and the places clean so that the pandemic is away. And the fourth one is the police department, which is actually controlling the people or as we discuss, as we go into the uh, presentation. These are few things, as you see the police department, sanitation workers, health officials and the neighbors that are there in the pictures. I took some pictures to just show you a pictorial of how the pandemic is being controlled and who are all the real and uh, now controllers of the pandemic. Going to the processes in construction, we will just discuss what are all the processes involved. Normally clearing and grabbing is the first process that is involved in the construction for, of any uh, building or any infrastructure construction. Excavation, bar bending, form work, concreting, masonry and plaster, plastering, finishing, painting, MEP works, and material handling. These are the normal construction 
activities that are there to handle whenever any rural or any construction activities take place. Now under COVID conditions, we have some other processes that are involved, which also takes place on a daily basis. The first one is regular health checkup or the temperature checkup. This becomes very important and it becomes a process for carrying out the construction. The next one is sanitization. The surrounding places, every day there is a people movement and there is a, uh, there is every day there is a people movement and work going on. So that's sanitization. Next is social distancing. This also is a process which has to be carried out because people are not used to it. We are never used to social distancing in a, whenever we are working or anywhere. And PPEs, normal negligence, every time the negligence comes in wearing PPEs. I just show you how our urban, I'm sorry, rural or any semi-urban or a far from a suburbs, how the construction work is taking place. How dangerous it is. Now when you see, you can't even believe that a COVID will not exist at such places. This is where the difference has come from a construction in a normal time and construction during COVID situations. Now, what are the hazards and risks? Very broadly speaking, the hazards in a normal construction, as usual, the excavation is there, so there is a collapse. Since uneven working surfaces are there, so there are slip and trips, slips and trips. Working at height, which is a very, very uh, common hazard in a construction industry. And the risk associated with this is fall from height. Electricity, the wires, the open wires or the running wires for every equipment or anything that is given, this is also, this can cause electrocution. Cements and paints, if not handled properly, can contact with chemicals. And workplace access and egress. If the depth is there, you should have the ladders. If height is there, you should have a platform, proper platform to reach. And that's, it is one of the major hazard which is normally there in the uh, in our construction industry. And materials and machine, these are the two things which are frequently handled. And in the machine or the equipment, we see the caught in between or falling or coming under the equipment. These are all the hazards in construction. Now under COVID situation, what has been added to these hazards? Let us just see, run through that. Unidentified, unidentified sick people. Yes, nobody agrees that he is sick. As per the COVID standards are concerned, the temperature of 100 is considered, 99 is considered as a sick. But it's not happening like that. Spread of infection, gatherings, togetherness. This can spread infection. Spitting, sneezing, coughing in open atmosphere and, and open surfaces. It's a common practice. How can we ask people not to sneeze, uh, spit, not to sneeze? Disposal of used masks and gloves, major issue. That's where the sanitization or sanitation, uh, what do you call it, health workers or health officials come into place. And also the disposal of the waste. Reusing masks and gloves, absolutely common practice in construction. People don't know that their mask once used has to be thrown and used to be, uh, a, a new mask has to be used. What is their lifespan? One day, two day, three day, four days. They don't know. Even if you give them gloves, they'll be keeping. And sharing of the gloves is most common. Gathering and handshakes, as I told you, 
cultural, what you call it, uh, habits, unprotected contacts. Every material that comes to construction may be coming from somewhere we don't know. So this also can bring some sort of a uh, uh, COVID infected material. And, and also trespassers. This also can be a hazard because wherever the construction is going on, we don't close construction. Many times the construction sites are open. Sometimes the neighbors or the people, they are very curiously watching it. And we don't know who they are. This is called a trespassers. They can have a hazards with the, um, what do you call it, tripping, tripping and falling and these things also can happen. But now COVID has become a, for this, for COVID, these, these people have become a hazard. So broadly speaking, as on date, I see these are certain things that we are avoiding at the construction sites. We treat them as hazards. Now, since we have seen some hazards and some and risks, now let us see what are the mitigation measures. In a normal situation, in a construction site, I take slip trips, I take the housekeeping, keep the surfaces even or with a proper cover so that people when they talk, when they when they walk, they don't trip. Even surfaces and all those things. All from height, we use safety harnesses and edge protection, barricades, electrocution, we use insulated wires, joints, our ELCBs, earth leakage circuit breakers, which are very commonly used now instead of fuses and all those things, and cements and paints, and with a contact with chemicals. So use the proper gloves. Access and egress ladders and scaffolds are used for access and egress of the site. Injection and inhalation, dust mitigation masks, which now has become very common, the like COVID masks. Or, but normally we use this in every construction site. And caught in by and warning signals. This, whenever the equipment is traveling, whenever the equipment is working, then we should have the signal man or a, a, a banksman to warn the people coming nearer when it is traveling or working or anything. So these are certain mitigation measures in a normal thing we take. As you see on to the right of your screen, already in the COVID situation, the first and foremost thing that is needed is sanitizers. Sanitizing the atmosphere, the material, the person, is one of the most important thing that has become in the COVID situation. For sanitization, what we need, we will discuss further. Regular health checkups, temperature scans, regular thorough hand wash. For that, hand wash basins have to be provided with proper water supplies. And covering mouth and nose when coughing and sneezing. This is not our habit. This is not at all our habit. That's why we give a mask. But still, there are methods. Even if you get a sneeze without a mask, then how to do it? Cleaning hands after coughing and sneezing, one of the very important things. Because it doesn't stop a person that after coughing and sneezing, it doesn't meet people and doesn't touch material and does that doesn't transport things or does not come in contact with the people. Avoid stray animals. This I have written because we find that sometimes the stray animals may also carry. I have my own doubts about it, but I have read in some articles that we should be away from the stray animals. Displaying warning signs, caution notices and guidelines issues so many number of guidelines and uh, warning notices have come every day you see in the social media as well as government is issuing uh, 
uh, notices. So these have to be displayed. Communication has to be done. Normally, what happens is we do things. We do, we do formulate policies and statutes, but communication to the lowest worker who is working at site, it doesn't happen. So it is our job to see that this uh, caution notices or warning signs or the COVID statute is what are the uh, procedures needed for the uh, for preventing a person getting into COVID-19 has to be communicated. Security measures and side barriers. This will help. I will relate this to the what police department is doing. Every construction site, whether it is a rural or urban or semi-urban or whatever it is, if a construction site is going on, there are identified people. We have our own people identified. So we do keep security guards. Those guards now can play a very important role by not allowing people are not allowing the trespassers. This can stop the spread of pandemic. And also we can stop the hazards of spreading of the pandemic. Regular awareness. I have not, say, not even said periodical. Because this periodicity I cannot define. Regular. Whenever you get time, whether it is a tea time, whether it is a concreting time, where there is a but there is a uh, the activity which which needs around 20 to 30 people then you have to spread the awareness saying that keep social distance keep your gloves on keep your mask on otherwise they tend to fall in regular awareness i have never i don't think there is a measure i can give that morning toolbox stops you do then you forget no, it can be morning, after lunch, during lunch break, during tea break, and also while going at the end of the shift or at the end of the work. They have to be told, please be careful. You're going home. So please be careful about the COVID-19. This has become now very important for our construction site. Gentlemen, I tell you why, because most unorganized sector it is. Today, some people come, tomorrow, those people may not come. The timings of their employment changes. Some people may work for three months, four months, six months. So that's why the regular awareness about the COVID is needed. Now we'll go to some pictorial uh, slides that you can see in front of you. Stopping the spread of germs, that is the COVID itself, the virus itself. Hand washing is not an easy job. There are techniques. They say minimum of 10 seconds or something is needed for hand wash. You can't just rub your palm and that's not a hand wash. Very clear. This awareness has to go to that lowest level of workers. My dear friends, please, all those who are listening, please spread this message because it's not easy, I'm telling you, because we are handling children at home. I always say that the workers at site, the workmen at site are more like a children. They look adult. They look very old, they look aged, they look very skilled. They are 40s, they are 30s, they are, they are also young workers. They are very careless. They don't care for their health. That is why they fear when you say that you are, not, you are sick. They tend to say, show an attitude that I am not sick. This is where the danger can come. So washing hands, these all these posters should be or a regular awareness about this should be given. 
these are some posters which i said about the social distancing gentlemen we don't know what is social distancing my dear friends please we don't know what is social distancing gale lagna hamare liye aam baat hai hum sochte hain ye hamara pyar jatana hai ye hamara nazdeek hai but it is not so now it is not so saying namaste keeps us something away no 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 i'm so I, i didn't i didn't greet him properly but it is not so we have to maintain the social distancing this is one thing which will be which is lacking everywhere we are beating this norm in every forum we are beating this norm we see the roads are vacant the the air, air what do you call it the um the roads are vacant malls are vacant everywhere there is nobody is there but whenever there is some gathering a call of a prime minister makes a big gathering we forget the social distance norm because in that one person sneezes it is gone so that's why there are social distancing or keeping apart and one meter or two meter is a mandatory these are some notices about again social distancing do not enter stop even visitors what we say at home we are telling the neighbors if you are sick please don't come he may be having a flu a cough but nowadays it is not so so what about the construction these people they they don't know they will say e mera bhai ka ladka hai and he will bring him in from some other site this happens in construction sites so we have to be very careful as per the security measure is concerned press passers we have to be very careful to see that this people accept this if they are sick they should say that they are sick and also keep the workplace the following notices like covering your mouth even the regularly touched objects like mobiles and all those things the washing these are the few the generic what i say are the signal notices that have to be posted at every site handling the food eating the food this also has to be carefully handled then next comes the personal protective equipment as you all know that this area in a normal situation in construction what are we using for the body helmet for the feet shoes for ears ear plugs wherever the noisy areas are there eyes we use a goggles for far from height we use safety belts or safety harnesses for electrocution we will use the electrical gloves for welding gloves for welding and for dust we use the uh, yeah, mask nose mask covering the nose now for covid situation as you all know by this time you must be very clear that face mask is one thing that is creating havoc yes it is creating havoc people are not using it they think i am healthy i am not supposed to use face mask how how misinformed they are they say i am okay i will not use face mask it's not so my dear friend even if you breathe that is going to create issue so even healthy or unhealthy when you go to a public place when you are traveling to a public place when you are coming out into the open atmosphere you must have face mask hand gloves to avoid touch we are absolutely not used to this but we must use it 
portable sanitizers. This was earlier for elite business, elite people, but it is not so now. Like I think 20 years back, water bottle, carrying a water bottle used to be a raisi. We call them very rich. At my construction site, the people ask, are we getting RO water? So similarly, sanitization or portable sanitization now become a very common. It has because it saves your life. That's why portable sanitizers have to be made. Signages, as I shown you, we discussed about it. Sanitizing stations will now become a, uh, a symbol of uh, health initiatives. These stations are nothing but a person entering the site. He goes through the stations. He stays there for 10 seconds, 20 seconds, and uh, they'll be spray of sanitizers. Then he becomes sanitized his clothes and other symptoms sanitizers. There is one ROQ Situ app which has come. We will discuss in the further slides. This also has become one of the personal protective equipment. I'm using it personally. I those who are not you though not, not using it, please use it. It indicates, it shows you even 10 kilometers, 2 kilometers, who is a sick or who is a positive case or anything. So this helps you and this keeps you safe. These are the two protectors for us in a COVID-19 situation. Otherwise, I'm sorry, let's go to the previous slide. This is what a normal man in safety, we call it PPEs, the person looks like. Whereas in COVID situation, so many things are not needed, but we need mandatory face masks and hand gloves. And these are, you can see the changing scenarios of our sites. You see everybody wearing a mask. Even in the lifts, you see the distances are marked. That means our houses or hospitals or anywhere. So that instead of a jam packed lift, there should be a social distancing measure. And these are on the right side, are our protectors, that is hand gloves. You technology is very, very active because I'm showing you some foot operated hand washing machine. This has become very common, not a very big thing. Many of the industries are using and uh, they have started using these machines. Not a very expensive or anything. They can be indigenized and they are making it. As I told you, Arugya Situ app, please download it. It's a government app and uh, it shows you in how many kilometers the people are there and what is the, what is your own assessment of your health. And as I was talking to sanitizing stations on your right, this shows a sanitizing station, which a person enters and gets sanitized and comes back. Here you see automatic dispenser of the uh, uh, sanitizer so that you don't have to touch it. Nowadays, because I see a lot of things that even the door handles, doors are made, made without touching. These are getting invented. As you say, necessity is the mother of invention. Now, maybe after around uh, two years, we don't have to open our door with our hands. Just by, you know, uh, our proximity, the door will open as it opens now in airports and all those things. But even our doors, the home doors and uh, even the uh, at home also, we can have these doors operated like that. And you can see a thermal scanner here, which has become a need of the art. 
everywhere it is there. Last time we used to have thermal scan, sometimes we used it long back, but now it has become mark of the day. Every security personnel is with a thermal scanner. But everybody who enters the site must be scanned, sanitized, and sent in. Then we have this app. This I got it from one of my, uh, what do you call it, uh, online. I don't know whether this really is there or not. It's working or not because it's very costly. Your mobile or your face, the moment you go to your office, the moment you stand before that, it scans and tells you whether you can go into the office or not. Because while scanning your face, it sees your mask, it sees your body temperature, and then automatically locks in the attendance data and sends it. This is how the technology uses. Technologies are used for preventing COVID. The welfare facilities, as we talk uh, uh, at the construction sites, normally we'll have a safe drinking water, a place to eat, a place to rest, refreshments, first aid facility, accommodations, transport, now in the COVID situation, this drinking water stations have to be kept with a, again, a disposable glasses so that the same glass is not used by everybody. The eating places should be sanitized and should have a running water to man and maintain social distancing, a regular cleaning and sanitization. Accommodation with social distancing. This has become a mark now. Last time in a, in a, room supposing there were four people staying now there should be only two people staying because the distance have to be maintained this becomes a mark of quality and sanitized transportation last time we had to take people in buses 50 people a 30 or 40 as per the capacity now they have to be halved because the social distancing have to be maintained with open windows again. They should not be AC, it should be open windows so that anybody sneezes or anything, the, the virus is not transmitted. In the conclusion, I'd like to say a few words. These are all my uh, personal uh, opinions. Rural construction is very prone to COVID-19. In fact, construction is the stakeholders must be very firm in implementing COVID-19 health guidelines and restrictions. Why? Gentlemen, the stakeholders, the first person that is needed is the top management or the owner of the construction site. He has to be. The government has shown that if it wants, it can. It can implement. 40 days domestic flights not working. Can we imagine? If a flight gets delayed, we make so much of noise. I myself have made when I missed my flight, the only flight to particular destination. Now for 40 days. So this is what it shows the conviction of the stakeholders. Every stakeholder, whether it's a material supplier, whether it's the owner, whether it's the architect, whether it's a designer, or the engineer, please, my dear friends, whenever you go to a construction site, which you own, a small or a big, now supposing, I don't say that, it's only a, a, a very arbitrarily I'm telling. Supposing an architect, a designer, a owner, and the uh, and the construction, uh, what do you call it, the company uh, engineer, they walk to a construction site. Normally, the designer will say, okay, I did like this, architect will be looking at this, his, his facelifts, what is it, whatever he's making, how they're doing, and there'll be a mason or a skilled person will come and explain him how he's does. But please now make it a point to ask. How are you? Are you healthy? 
and please do check the covid measures or the safety measures because this is only a few minutes of the talk i normally advocate i normally advocate 1% of the time that is if you work for 10 hours if you go there for 1 hour for spending a time there then at least speak for 1 minute 1 minute with those people 2 minutes asking them about their safety their health they are maintaining it or not if they are not maintaining be strict on to them say that if you work like this i am not allowing you to work and there should be a, a sort of a commitment there should be a love for that human being so that's why this is needed and this only can be done by the stakeholders owners the designers the architects the engineers the contracting firms because we know that everybody is subcontracted down the lane five to six levels it is a very very uh, raw people they don't know anything they are only skilled they have the skill to construct that they are available i know the construction sites i've been here in for last 20 years a graduate in arts is a construction engineer in one of the sites how can i discuss with him all the hazards that i've discussed about the excavation who tells him is the mystery who works there how is the soil and all those things but being engineers being in higher positions being in a responsible position covid has shown us what is humanity how to help each other how one person can be so dangerous to everyone surrounding him so my request to all the stakeholders to be very firm in implementing covid very firm in giving health guidance and restrictions. This will help us. This is the solution for working under COVID situations. The workmen may not vary, but they are very unorganized and their family run skills. Family run skills. An operator's brother becomes an operator, a mason's son becomes a mason. Hence, a regular awareness on COVID should be there. I'm not talking here the construction of guards because in the, my last lecture I did so. Under COVID condition, what happens is these construction hazards are being reinforced with this COVID. They are increasing. So that's why my request to the stakeholders, to the engineers, to the architects, whoever are visiting, maybe a material supplier, if he's visiting the site, he must say that. We must watch their behaviors and attitude towards COVID. This is one thing that happens, as I told you. <clears throat> nobody, excuse me, nobody wants to tell that he is sick because they fear, they fear they lose their job. That's why many times they take risk of getting into accidents and incidents so what happens is this covid has made their life much more i would say miserable because they should be healthy and they should be working in one way it is good for them at least the fear of health has entered into their life i'm happy that fear of health has entered into that they don't want to be sick they don't want to have temperatures otherwise nobody says take a paracetamol take an acid and come take a one fever tablet and come to site and okay and second day you find him going to hospital or hospitalized what happened no sir oh charge in sikha kabhi bataya nahi kisi ko I'm sorry, sometimes I'm uh, switching over to uh, Hindi. So, so this is why the behaviors and the attitudes have to be closely watched and this only can be told. As I told you the example, a child, when you go to their site, whoever are the workers at site are just like childs. 
they will listen to you they will not say no to you because they know they will get beaten up they will get they lose their jobs so that's why it's very important to watch their behaviors challenge them to be healthy help them to be healthy and as i told you in tier 1 and tier 2 even in metro cities i am telling you i live in mumbai and anybody living in mumbai i only ask one question they may answer me in the chat box have you been ever seen how your building is painted is it the steel scaffolding or a bamboo scaffolding is there any norms maintained i have not seen i'm there in mumbai for last four eight years and i have changed three buildings every building when it gets repainted one person comes with a bamboo and ties down and he just gets up and paints it bombay i'm talking about metro cities where are the laws where are the statutes no i have to put my i have to uh, be very strict and i have called the secretary and i said the tunnel these people have safety belts let us not allow and thanks to my secretary he said ha rao sir theek hai sahi baat bol rahe hain and who know the supervisor was he was not at all educated he was just a intermediate pass and he has an experience that's it he was supervising this painting job you can watch around that you see a glimpse the taste of construction unorganized construction so my dear fellow attendees please as i said rural construction or any urban even some organized unorganized construction is very hazardous everybody those who are into this must take a bite on safety let us keep them safety we were giving them making their lives painless is nothing that we get blessings that's how i conclude the session again before concluding i only say sahana bhavatu sah sahano gunatu सह वीर्य करवा वह तेजस्विना वही तमस्तु महाविशाला let's perform together with vigor we will perform we will take up the hazard we will take up the risk and let our performance be filled with knowledge without any misunderstandings the hazard will be there with us no issues i conclude my session here stay healthy stay safe as the quote says you don't build a business you build people and then people build the businesses human the very race is very important to us a lot of whatsapp videos are coming that everybody other than human are very happy the plant kingdom is happy the animal kingdom is happy the mineral kingdom is happy but the human kingdom is inside the house we will definitely most intelligent kingdom in this universe we will come out of this hazard all the best to everybody be with your near and dear with your loved ones stay home 
and take care of yourself. Thank you very much. You can type in your questions so that yes, you need staff and, uh, and the question is asked by section Vikash. Because you need staff labor for the construction is absolutely necessary. But the thing is taking care of them is very important. As I told you, even our own housemaid, she is an external person for us. We have to take care of them. We have to take care of their health, their sanitation, social distancing. We have to maintain with the staff and we have to take care of all the mitigation measures that have been told by WHO and the health ministry. And we have to get the work done. If there are any more any more questions or any queries are there my gmail id that is uh, shared as jmsrcard60 at the gmail.com is there and uh, you can share uh, you can just write to me as i said it's a uh, uh, normally this uh, question asked what measures can be taken to help achieve physical distancing. Uh, the, I can't see in the chat box his name. Physical distancing is now becoming very, very important because of the spread of the COVID. We are not used to it. I told you in my mitigation measures that we are not used to it. Gale milna or haath milna na humare liye common baat ho gayi. Lekin hum namaste to bhooli gaye. Ye namaste abhi sikha raha hume COVID. So distancing, social distancing is very important. As I said, many of the processes in construction need a group of people. But now we have to reinvent our methods, reinvent our processes to make sure that social distancing is maintained, the progress is achieved. It's not that instead of one person, there are two persons standing there. It happens like that. So this has to be studied in well right from the planning from the planning itself this has to be done and the keeping in view the uh, social distancing the methods have to be written that's how we have to do it what it means n95 normal mask please gentlemen please don't be onto that the marks are so many types of marks are there if you go to a chemical industry, because masks are not new to us, N95 is spread only to the, the amount of, what do you call it? Uh, uh, it, it stops the amount of uh, exertion from your mouth. When you sneeze, is it reaching the other person? The one feet or one meter, one meter, N95 stops it. 
it reduces it. Whereas there are surgical masks, there are cotton masks. The only thing, as I told you, mask. How long? How many days do you use a mask? There are uh, what do you call it uh, standards for the masks. Masks are not new to us. We use a dust mask, a common cloth mask. Uh, Aryan has asked, what is the process of ME works during construction occurs? The process of MEP works are, this is all electrical. Electrical works, plumbing works. These are the works when it, construction goes on, they work after the slab complete, there may be a floor going up. Then they have to put all the plumbing works and the electrical works. This is what is called an MEP works. For this, the access and egress is one of the very uh, important thing. What can be the mitigation measures, precautions? Interstate transport of materials delivered. Interstate transport, I told you, material delivery, uh, There is a technical question. Interstate transport materials delivered at project sites. Whenever material comes at the project site, are you handling this material? Could you use gloves, proper gloves, and, and masks, and use this material. If it is steel, whether it is uh, electrical material, whether it is cables, whether it is uh, cement bags, whether it is, uh, what do you call it, uh, uh, bricks, anything, admixtures, the tins, use the sanitization method. This is one thing that becomes very, very important. Yes, walking through the sanitizer causing problem has not yet been identified, but as you will say that there are the standard mixtures of the sanitizers which are sprayed and uh, they are not health issues because everybody's uh, health differs from one person to another maybe some persons may be allergic or something like that but still that's the only thing that is now available that sanitizer tunnels what we call it sanitizer passes like we pass through the uh, airport uh, metallic scanners that's the one thing under covid that's all under COVID situation, how we are arranging accommodation? Accommodation level, very simple. Just have it as, as the trains are being done. As now airlines are planning to have only two seats instead of three, the accommodations have to be halved. They should be, as I told you, instead of if there are four people in a room, there should be two people. As simple as that. Till COVID normalizes, till COVID uh, graph is flattened, we have to use this. And this would stay at least, to my knowledge, another one year. This social distancing have to be maintained and these things have to be done. Monetary expenditure, yes, sir. Definitely there'll be a monetary expenditure. Now, this is where the question is. I told you very much that whether it is a contractor or the principal employer. Simple, sir, the cost will increase. PPEs are embedded in the construction activities. I told you normal construction activities, I told you, just think. The helmets, the shoes, the gloves, these are all there. So similarly, now what happens is, this cost also embedded that you have to have the temperature scanners, you have to have COVID marshals. The new world has come as COVID marshals. Like last time we used to have traffic marshals. The job of this COVID marshal is to uh, COVID marshal to see that sanitization is in process, temperature checking are in process, people are maintaining social distancing, people are not removing the gloves and just play, working with hands, people are not removing masks, taking out all the masks. These are all the uh, what do you call it? Uh, 
the covid marshals job definitely the cost will increase and it has to be borne it has to be borne by the owner nobody else can borne and bear it because he is the one who is wants a construction to be done thank you very much gentlemen thanks a lot see you in another session thank you very much fiscon e discovery so nice of you for arranging such sessions it has been wonderful for me any more questions you have you want to have my email id is jmsrkr60 at the rate gmail.com you can mail it to me i will definitely respond it to you thank you very much sarve bhavantu sukhina as i told everybody loka samasta sukhino bhavant god bless you stay safe and stay home thank you very much